Howdy gang, in today's episode of Pool School, I'm going to respond to a bunch of requests I have and doing a video on check valves, what they are, how they work, and how to fix them. So what do you say we check it out? Alrighty, before we get started, I wanna once again thank you for watching, invite you to like this video if you do, subscribe to my channel if you have not done so already, and please share my channel with everyone you know who owns a pool. You never know, they might be looking to save some money too, or at least know a little more about their pool so that they cannot be taken advantage of. Alrighty, so I wanna apologize for it taking me so long to get a video done on check valves, and the honest reason is I just didn't have any clients who had pools that had check valves in them. As I explain what they are and how they work, you'll understand why. But I finally picked up a new client who has a check valve in her pool, so I can now show you an example of a check valve. So, first and foremost, what is a check valve? A check valve is basically a one-way valve that allows water to flow only in one direction. Usually, it's on the return side of your pool and it goes to something that is that where the water sits the water level sits higher than the pool equipment itself. So you you like let's say you have an above let's say you have a pool with an attached spa that sits a little higher, a raised spa that has an overflow into the pool. Well, a lot of times if you just have a regular pipe there on the return side, the water will flow into it as so you get that spillover, which is a nice little water feature effect. But then when the pump shuts off, the water will start to drain out of that spa until it reaches the level of the, usually it's the, the return jets. And then, so your water level always drops and you end up with like a half empty spa. So the check valve is there so that when the water flows in, it's open. And then when that pump shuts off, that valve, boom, slams shut and seals so that way water doesn't escape the spa. So that's basically what a check valve does and it's usually found on the return side of the pool. It can be found on the suction side of the pool, but that's the purpose of the check valve. So what do you say we go back and take a look at this particular check valve? Oh, and there are several different kinds. I'm gonna show pictures of them, um, but they're pretty much similar in how they work. So I'm gonna show you this one first, and then we'll go in and dive into the other types of check valves and how to repair them. Okay, so I am at my client's pool. It's a fairly small pool, but they have a water feature, if you notice, on the pool. But if you notice, it sits, well, maybe sits almost identical in height to the equipment. Here's the equipment here. I apologize for the noise. They've got an air conditioning unit that sits right next to the equipment. But this is the pump for the water feature. And you'll notice these are the suction side of the, of the, of the water feature. And there in the return side is your um, check valve. So this is, I, I like this kind of check valve actually. Um, um, most check valves nowadays um, are you can open them up to fix them. This one is one of those type of check valve that there's a valve in there and so when the water flows this way, I'm sorry, this is the return side of it. I'm sorry, here's the suction side, my apologies. This is the return side so you can have it flow to a couple different places but this is their return side, okay, of it. But most, um, this particular check valve, if something goes wrong with the insides of this, you pretty much have to replace this entire thing because you really can't pull it apart inside and take it apart. But that's why they have these unions right here that you can unscrew and just replace this whole check valve. Personally, I like that because I don't think these things are that expensive. And when stuff starts wearing out inside your check valve, I like the idea of just popping it out, putting a new one in, and you're done. And you don't have to mess with a lot of stuff. So that is a check valve. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna keep the video right here on this and I'm gonna fire up this pump. It's gonna get loud, but I want you to watch right in here and watch this little piece right here. It's going to it's gonna move up a little bit as I turn it on. So hang on and let's see what happens. It's gonna take a second for this thing to pry. It's kind of hard to see what happened inside of it. That valve opening up this way. Water is pushing up through the pump, lifting the valve, and the water is flowing up and around and through and into the system. Now you got a little leak here. That leak is actually on this jambi valve right here. And 
I'll tell, I'll give you a, I'll do another video on how to fix the O-rings on these jandy valves. They're very easy, okay? So that's pretty much it. Now I'm going to shut it off and I want you to watch right here if you can and see what happens. There, did you see that? That little, you kind of see a little dark ring, it kind of dropped down. That was the check valve closing. And that's pretty much how it works, all right? So as I said with this one, to repair this one, you can't really repair what's inside of it. You just have to take the unions off here and replace this center piece. Not too expensive, very easy to do, okay? There's a couple others that you can take apart, and I have pictures of those, so we'll go back to my house and I'll show you those, talk a little about how to take those apart and fix them, okay? Also, there are some really old ones, I've not seen them lately, that actually have that are not open, you can't open them. So it's really hard to tell what's going on. One other thing to keep in mind, sometimes with a check valve, regardless of what it is, you know, they have the valve which has an O-ring around it, right? Some of them have, this one pops up like this, right? Slides up. Some of them just flip with a flap like this and you'll see that later. But they usually have a spring and then they have an O-ring inside of there. And that's usually what will go bad in this, in these type of things. Um, the other thing is sometimes you can get a little piece of debris caught in the flap so when the flap closes it creates a little opening and you get a little bit of seepage so that's um, another thing to keep in mind sometimes it's not the spring or the o-ring it's just you got a piece of debris in there sometimes it frees itself other times it doesn't and if it's this kind you're kind of out of luck because you can't get that debris free from in there you could take this apart take these off go in there with your finger and make sure that everything's cleared out and then the other type you can actually open up the face We'll show the, I'll show you that in a, in a picture and actually clean to make sure there's no debris there. All right, so let's go back to my house and we'll talk about the other types of check valves and how to fix them. Okay, so as I said before, and you saw this one at my client's pool, this is an example of that check valve that we saw at my client's pool. And one of the reasons I like it is because you notice you can see a little better inside what it looks like and what the valve looks like. I just wanted to give you an example of that. Let's go to another one. So this is another version of a check valve. If it looks like a Jandy valve, it's actually because this one is made by Jandy. Although there are other manufacturers like Hayward and Pentair that make one similar to this, it looks almost the same. But you notice you can take the screws off of the, the face of it, the lid there, and then remove that clear plastic lid. And to the left, you notice you can see the spring of the valve and the hinge. And inside there is the valve and there's a gasket there. So all of those things can be replaced. So if people put this one in, then the way you, you fix it is you unscrew those screws, take that plate off, and you can do your uh, repairs then. It's not my favorite, but again, it does make it accessible so you can replace things inside. And this last example is one made, this one particularly is made by a company called Waterway. Uh, it's a spring check valve, and you'll notice instead of the clear lid having screws, like the example of the Jandy one that I just showed you, this one has a has little looks almost looks like a, uh, a modified pump lid but you just pop that you can you can physically do that without having to use a screwdriver you can just twist off that gray rim and then access the spring and the valve and the gasket and all that and it's very similar the inner workings to the previous one the Jandy valve one that I showed you so that's that one so those are basically check valves. Now, as I said earlier, there are a lot of different styles. Um, some you are permanently mounted, like the Jandy style valve or the, um, the Waterways one. They're glued in and they're hard plumbed in. Whereas the first example I showed you from my client's pool, those unions allow you to unscrew it and replace the actual valve itself. So it really is a personal choice. Now, there are some uh, check valves Sorry, got my hands right in front of my face. There are some check valves that, that you cannot take apart to, and they're permanently installed in the pipe, so they're glued in, and you cannot take them apart. I'm not a fan of those. If you have one of those, what I would suggest you do is you contact a licensed, insured, and bonded, and highly recommended pool repair person to come out and replace that check valve with one that you can at least 
um, replace the, the center of it like my client's pool that I showed you the example or like the other two examples I showed you. You want to be able to repair those because those things can sometimes go bad. That gasket that seals the valve shut can go bad and you can get debris in it so you want to be able to access to, to take it apart. But that's pretty much how it works. And as far as repairing it, it's pretty much how to repair it. You just either the, the first one you take it apart, you take the unions off and replace it or the uh, Pentair style, the other ones, you take that lid off and you can get in and access the spring and all that. And it's pretty easy to do, so I'm not going to break down how to do that. Plus, I don't have any examples to show you. So there you have it, my friends. That is my very simple lesson on check valves, what they are, what they do, or how they work, and kind of how to repair them. Um, I've very, very rarely known any check valves of the pools that I have serviced um, in the past that had needed repair or replacement, so they last a pretty long time. It's, it's that gasket, that little rubber gasket that seals it that usually goes bad. Or, like I said, you get a little piece of debris inside that gasket, just gets stuck in there, and it just creates a slight gap so water tends to trickle out. And in those cases, you can open that valve cover and maybe see if you can clear that. So that is my lesson on check valves. I hope it made sense. If you have any questions, as always, feel free to post them in the comment section below this video. Or if you'd like, you can also email me directly. My email address is going to appear at the bottom of the screen here. It is kennypoolschool at gmail.com. Once again, kennypoolschool at gmail.com. So once again, thank you for watching this video. I want to remind you to like, subscribe, and share. And make sure you tune in to next week's video because I'm going to have a very, very exciting announcement of a contest. So stay tuned. Turn on your subscription notifications. Until we meet again, remember, have fun, be safe, and always, always, always watch those kids and elderly people and your pets around water. And I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.